Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to create realistic blood spatter or like blood or any substance that gets on a lens or just sort of flies off. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is all in Premiere Pro. Spacebar, they chopped the sword and bang, all this blood, bam, all over the lens. Yeah, it's kind of dark, but it's very, very commonly used in cinema. And I'm going to show you how to do this effect from scratch. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. I'm going to delete everything except the original video. Okay, here we go. We've got some warriors fighting. I'm going to drag and drop that into the timeline. And that's going to make us a sequence. And you'll see here, there we go. And I'm just going to go to about that part right there. Where, where's the sword chop? Right there. So at three seconds, at three seconds and 21 frames, this is where I want the blood to spatter or splash off because that's where the sword comes down. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to hit M and I'm going to mark that. So that means I've basically created a marker. And then I'm just going to go to about six seconds here and go ahead and reduce the size of this because I'm just teaching you the technique. So there we go. So we've gone ahead and we placed the marker. That is step one. The second step is we're going to go ahead and duplicate the content. So I'm going to left click on that. Make sure you're clicked on the layer here. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down the Alt or the Option key. And I'm going to push up. That makes a duplicate copy. Beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding in some tinting on this second layer here. So on V2, we're going to tint it red. So I'm going to go into my effects panel here and I'm going to type in tint. I'm going to find it under Video Effects, Color Correction, Tint. Left click on that and drop it onto that track. It automatically applies a little bit of a tint, a black and white tint, but that's not what we want. We want this to be dark red, kind of like blood. So we're just going to quickly change the black. So it says map black to, map black to instead of black, we're going to go with a dark red. Something like that, okay? It doesn't really matter too much right now. We're going to map white to a brighter red. So something like that, okay? There we go. It looks kind of scary, but hey, that's okay. That's how you do a tint. The next step is we're going to blur this a little bit because, you know, when blood splatters, it's usually a little blurred. It's not just like bright and nasty. So we're going to quickly add a blur to it. So I'm going to type in Gaussian here. And when I do that in the effects panel, it's going to bring up Gaussian blur. We're going to apply that to video track two as well. And then in our effect controls panel, I'm going to drop down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and increase the blurriness to about 40. So we got a little bit of a blur to it. Okay, good. We are on our way and we've still got a few more things to do. So the next step is we're going to go back over here. So I'm just going to go back to my project panel. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to see new item. If you do not see this because you've got a smaller monitor or maybe your toolbars are set up differently, just drag this out so you see it. So I'm going to go with like something like that. Right here, new item. Left click on that. And then what you want is a color mat. We don't really matter what color it is as long as it's the full size of the, um, of, the, of the project and it is by default. So left click on OK and then color mat, whatever. Let's just go with black because we're going to be using uh, some, some other techniques that don't require this. So left click on black and we're going to call it color mat. It doesn't matter. Take color mat, drag and drop it on top of V3. So now we're on top of the two video tracks. Now we've got a color mat. And I'm just going to extend that out so it's all the same length. Okay, so hopefully you guys are seeing kind of where we're going with this. The next step is we're going to take an effect. And this effect is called VR Fractal Noise. So I'm going to just type it in. VR, and then when you do that, you're going to see VR Fractal Noise. It's kind of cool. We're now going to apply that to the layer here. So let's just go ahead and do that. VR Fractal Noise. And I am going to apply that to the top layer. So I just want to make sure I've got this all right here. And then you're going to see this mushy, looks like a kind of like a mushroom cloud, but it's not what we want. We want to go ahead now and adjust the contrast and the brightness particularly. The contrast, generally, you want to jack it way up. So I'm going to jack it up to about 300, somewhere around there. And then the brightness, I'm going to jack it down. And the reason why is because this white part is what the blood is going to look like. The black doesn't matter. The white part is going to be the blood. So whatever, however much blood you want to splatter is kind of what you want. So if you want a, like less blood, you can go and drop the complexity down. If you want to be really, really, you know, fancy, go with that. So let's just go with something like a three so I can show you the effect. Again, just keep in mind that you can go ahead and adjust these um, options. Now we're going to go into our effects panel again, 
and we're gonna get what's called a track mat. So I'm gonna type in, oh shoot, sorry guys, T-R-A-C-K. I'm typing that into the effects panel, and when you do that, you get something called a track mat key. You want to apply this not to the top layer, but to your middle layer. So making sure you're selected on your middle video or video track two, drop that bad boy on top of that. When you do that, well, not a whole hell of a lot happens, but it does appear in your effect controls panel. So let's go ahead and scroll down and look at tra track mat key. <laughs> Jeez, that was a mouthful. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna just go ahead and adjust the mat. So instead of the mat of none, the mat needs to be video three. So we're pulling in the red. Now the composite, instead of using the mat alpha, we're gonna take the mat luma. And that means we're basically taking the brightness. Now look at this. This isn't quite complete because the it's splattered all the way across, right? But we remember when we hit M and we marked it, I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and, scan, and move my playhead. And by having that marker there, it locks it in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the top V3 and I'm just gonna uh, trim it so that the blood appears where the marker is. And I'm gonna zoom in just for more effect. And now watch what happens. Here they're, they're doing their thing. Chop, blood on the <laughs> blood on the lens. That's blood spatter. That's all done in Premiere Pro. No other no other stuff. No fancy things, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.